Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Chair Card. These are your Daily Chair Cards for Monday, September 5th, 2022. Today we're pulling from the Energy Oracle Cards. Excuse me, but I have an allergy outbreak here, but we have community, so I definitely feel like there's things to be celebrating. Um, I feel like some of these things have already come to pass, um, are happening as we speak. You know, it's Labor Day weekend for the U.S. and Canada, so happy Labor Day. Um, I feel like, uh... You know, speaking of, like, my sister's energy where she's at a wedding for her sister-in-law. You know, so I feel like this community is coming in here in, in certain ways. You know, we have my mother's birthday coming up. So get-together celebrations in that way. We have Thanksgiving in October. I think it's the second week of October. So I feel like get-togethers and celebrations. Door to value. So I feel like possibilities are opening. You're already seeing this. You know, they they... Did talk about this cycle, September being very prosperous, you know, things happening. I just feel like our energy will be off. I was definitely talking to my uh, girlfriend about this, like where, you know, I should be joyous and celebrating. And I'm thankful. It's just, bleh, you know, I feel but So it's just like, how can we change that? You know, I feel like it's just because I was tired. Um, my knee has not been uh, the best right now. I pulled a muscle in the same leg that my knee is bugging me. So it's just like, mm, you know, try to work through that. And it's hard to be peppy when you're dealing with something like that. But it's just like nothing you can do. It's like you got to change your energy and keep going. So with the, the door to value, the red color, I definitely feel like grounding energy. I love with the golden coin on the door. It's like very ancient Chinese oracle, um, you know, because when you use the coins, you have to make up the hexagram. So the six lines. You know, so I get that, but I get this grounding forces, but I feel like it's like possibilities. They did say talk about nuptials. I'm not sure it's because we've been talking about weddings all day. I'm not sure, but they're saying upcoming nuptials. So someone else is getting married, I feel like, um, in my life. I don't know who, but anything is possible, right? Um, but I feel like things that you value come to you, like happiness, peace. You know what I mean? Like we always think about material things, but I feel like that as well. But I feel like, you know, the things that you value, you know what I mean? Like, we don't all just value money. Yes, money makes life easier because we pay the bills and we don't have to worry about X, Y, and Z. That's fine. But I feel like the things we value, peace, love, harmony, friendship, loyalty, the things we value. We have action. So Spirit is saying like, yes, keep putting your positive energy into the things that you care about most. Do not waste your energy on certain things. I feel like we're fragmented. And I feel like this is like, you know what they, you do a defrag with your computer? You know, it, it's supposed to be one solid line, but it's all broken. I feel like they're trying to put, bring all that energy back in to be a solid bar again. So I feel like, you know, doing a meditation, a grounding meditation to sit there and bring you back to center is, po is important and potent at this time. Temple path. I feel like no matter if you would have went left or right, you would have still ended up here. You know, with the community card, with... The temple path, your guardian angels are around you at this time to, you know, surrounding you and here to support and love you, you know, so don't forget about them. Don't, you know, this is very Shabbat, uh, Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat energy where it's like we call upon our ancestors to come in and celebrate with us and, and bring that joy back into our lives. We have woman holding a coin. So it looks like you're sitting across from someone. So I don't know if this is a financial advisor, uh, receiving advice from this woman. Uh, you know, when we get this, it's very queen of wands where it's like psychic abilities. We're definitely talking about that ancient Asaki record and, uh, uh, energies touching into that. So I feel like in that way, I just feel like you're getting advice and could be, and maybe you're guarding home and maybe financial advice, or it could be advice period. I feel like we're seeking advice from someone, a consultation. So we go to Archangel Shamiel. So this is our, our sociability. This is our sexuality. It's like, you know, making, again, making sure that mind, body, and soul are working as one, that we're making the right decisions as we work forward. I feel like someone is giving their energy to gossip, and it's just like, I feel like they're, like, they were saying, like, you know, only fools repeat gossip. So it's like, and uh, with you, you don't repeat it, it's just like, it is what it is, you know, keep moving forward, you know what I mean? So, I feel like it's just like, you know, concentrate on you, worry about you, don't worry about anyone else. Um, you know, and just keep moving forward that way, you know, go up, show up, shout and do the best you can. And that's it, you know, so we do have this card run here. So they're saying anxieties are lifting 
away from us. So that's great. You know, again, with the red color. So it's just like, you know, realize that the things maybe that you were worried about are now lifting away. You're getting positive confirmations. We did talk about how September is going to be very potent and uh, prosperous. The garden of the gate, you free will. You have the key around your neck to sit there and open this gate and to see what else the universe has for you. But it'll be up to you if you do this. You know what I mean? I feel like this is where spirit is saying, like, you know what? This is a potent manifestation time. There's a lot of things getting moving here. I feel like Christmas time. I'm not sure if it's Hanukkah. I'm seeing a tree, so I feel like it's Christmas. Um, I feel like you're going to be in a very good place. I feel like this is going to probably be the best Christmas uh, for after a long while. You know what I mean? So I feel like things are taking a turn. You know, maybe for some of you, it's like, you know, unexpected nuptial. Who knows? Uh, or an unexpected union. You know, when we talk about nuptials, you know, and reunion. Telling us to get grounded, Archangel Michael. So, you know, we're getting a lot of energy. Ground ourselves. Like they were showing that defrag, you know. And anytime my computer was slow, I would ask Shane that. And it's like, right now I feel physically depleted in that way where it's like my knee. I pulled a muscle in the same leg that my knee is acting up. Um, my back has been a little mush and mush because I'm, I know I'm doing a lot of things. But it's just like, you know, I injured myself last weekend so I feel like now it's recuperation time you know so I'm doing everything I can I'm not just like laying about it's like you know going for walks and stuff it's like what are you doing physio you keep moving the muscle so that way it doesn't get even worse you know what I mean so it's not I feel like it's just a time to rejuvenate I feel like it's a time for meditation grounding yourself and what is a defrag you're making that broken up bar solid again it's making it run smoother and faster so I feel like by doing that for yourself, you're going to sit there, you know, maybe you need a cleanse. Maybe it's the way you eat as well. So it's like, you know, maybe that way. Like I know with myself, I'm just like, I was going back and forth. Should I, should I, should I? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. I don't feel like it. It's, nah, you know. We have hostilities in the reverse as well. So hostilities that were going on are leaving us. And that's why I feel like it's like all this positivity happening. You know what I mean? Which is great. But this where I feel like they're saying, sit there and ground yourself and let's get the energy to a solid bar. Let's get solid, period, grounded, and so we can move forward. So starting with community, connection with kinder spirits. This card shows three women celebrating, sharing, sharing ideas and supportive energy. Very three cups. Um, the light is in the picture, represents your ever-present spirit, spirit community as well. When this card it appears upright, it indicates uh, association of some kind and maybe a casual connection like like-minded like people joining a club, a community of some sort, or a business partnership consisting of three or more in, in, uh, in titles. The time is right to make such new connections and to share intentions, whether they're personal or professional. Networking and communicating are pretty important parts of the human experience. And this uh, security and sense of connection can be beneficial to all. It's true when several people join in their intentions and accelerates their power in the energetic realm. So one thing I brought about this was with uh, they were showing is when I was doing IG's uh, cards. It's like, you know, talking about how uh, we would do a prayer circle. And it's not because we think we should get something from it. It's like we know God listens. We know God hears us. You know, and I, I feel like when all of us join in prayer to a like cause, like, you know, what's going on in Ukraine or, you know, we see some injustice happening in the world and we pray that that justice, you know, comes in some way. We don't wish harm on the person, but it's just like, you know, we wish that, you know, like a missing child or something like that happens. We pray for their safe return. You know what I mean? So it's just like in that way, I feel like it's like, you know how powerful that can be. So it's like join together with a common cause, like, I feel like that's where they're saying, um, with, uh, fragmented energy, they're talking about gossip. It's like, stop wasting your time with gossip. So we have new opportunities coming here, door to value, I feel like, regarding the home. So, you know, with three plus one is four, so 31. I feel like new opportunities are opening. I feel like a new beginning. This is why, again, they're saying stop wasting your energy on stupid things that don't deserve your energy, that don't deserve your, to deserve your attention, you know? Um, I feel like it's just like at work 
It's like, if people don't re resonate with you, people don't uh, want to mess with you no more, that's fine. Keep moving forward. You know, I don't know what's going on, but I just feel like, I don't know if it's jealousy or if they're just in their feelings or what's going on. It's just like, you know what, just keep moving forward. You know, don't worry about it. Things will get better. You know, things work, have the ways of working themselves out. You know, just put it under your hat and just keep moving forward. Don't worry about it. You know, they're saying jealousy. I hate saying that, but mm. So this card shows a door with a golden coin on it, opening to a place that is filled with light and bright potential. Money coins, jewels fly towards you through the open door, revealing a golden city beyond. All this points to the potential for exciting new beginnings or expansion where work or money are concerned. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected or perhaps it's something you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Sorry, there's like a mosquito that got in. Now, uh, know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remember, uh, remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. Be bold, be fearless, you know, uh, sit there and, and be in action, you know, don't, don't sit there and delay it because you're afraid of failure or you're, you're afraid of what this, you're, the unknown, you know, very much the fool card. It's like, be, you know, be fearless, be, you know, excited for this new endeavor, but it's just like, you know, leave behind all fear, worry, and doubt, and let's see where it takes us. So we have action. So 17, one plus seven is eight. So energized effort, willingness to work. Action is an accelerant that in ignites our, your desire. But when this card is reversed, you may find something is missing in your determination and follow through. Perhaps you've been engaging in more than wishful thinking than in, in, than in conscious effort. Or perhaps you're making, you need to make some adjustments and where you're paying attention to. Create a structured plan, then make sure you take daily action to moving towards closer to your goal. Be flexible, flexible yet persistent, and every conscious of your ability to act in your own behalf. And I feel like sometimes, like I said, we're, de we're, we're putting our energy in all these different places, and it's like, why are you doing that? You know? It's like people will try to drag you into that pit, especially with office gossip, and it's just like, they said only fools, you know, you know, spin that stuff. It's just like, you know, just sit there and keep it under your hat, you know, keep it to yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know if they're trying to see what you're going to do with it, but I feel like someone's playing games here. So spiritual purpose and support. So we, you know, this is where our guardian angels are by our side. Community card, guardian angels by our side, very Shavas energy, you know, inviting them in to celebrate. You know, we all think that, oh, because they're physically not here and we can't see them, you know, it's like, that's that. It is just like anyone that knows that has seen or felt or have heard of spirit. It's just, we all have that ability. It's just like when you go del deep down there into it, like they said, wherever you put your energy into is where you're going to be successful. In. And it's just like, the more you, you do that, open yourself up to those experiences, the more will come through, you know? So it's just like, you know, that they're with you. You know, don't feel like, you know, you're alone. Don't get, are isolated is what they're saying. You know, they mentioned the name John and they mentioned the name Sarah. I don't know if any of those resonate with anyone. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are leading is the blessed temple and a loving garden symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has in mind for you at this time. This card upright is here to tell you that you are going through now as part of your soul progression, you are you are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and, and life lessons. The light around the temple represents the spiritual world, your family members and friends, angels and guides, all in a loving spirit, spiritual helpers who long to assist you. Call upon them. Be open to their wisdom and inspiration. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep your mind open. Keep your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intention will help you move your life towards forward in a dramatic way. And that's what I mean. When we sit there and participate in uh, less than favorable behaviors, 
it, that draws us back. It takes us backwards. Like, you know, they say five steps forward, ten steps back. You know, if sometimes we're all, it's us. You know, getting in our own head. You know, definitely with myself, it's like, you know, it wasn't even the lack of appreciation. It was just the energy I was in. And it's just like, you know, like I was even saying that before retrograde started. You know, this is when I feel like, you know, I'm not too bad. You know, the past couple of days, it was like Friday more so than anything. It's just like, you know, I try to stay away from people. It's just like, I don't want to bring the people, other people down. I don't want to be that type of person. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. It's just like, I feel what I feel and, you know, I'll get through it. You know what I mean? Try to move that energy in a positive way. You know, sit there and recognize that, you know, something obviously is out of sorts. You know, like they were saying, you know, meditation. So a woman holding a coin. So you're sitting across from someone. Consultation is what they're saying. So female connected in money, health, and value. This elegant dressed woman in this card sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. When this card comes up right, the woman in the re for in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly to a successful endeavor regarding of her own finances or health. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. You may give you financial advice or connect you with women who uh, someone who does. This may be someone who, who where you make your own money or uh, it may be a woman of wealth or value. Either way, this card is telling you to be open to uh, or be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business. So, you know, if you're open to, you know, everybody, non-binary, you're open to love is love, it's like you could end up falling for this person. You know what I mean? It's just a connection there. Nothing wrong with that. You know, as long as you're not harming nobody and nobody's getting hurt, love is love. They're showing me the trans flag and they actually did mention trans uh, earlier. So third chakra, Archangel Shamiel. Again, getting all the energy lined up. So this is your so your your sexuality. This is your social ability. You know, with the three of cups, it's definitely saying, let's get social again. Let's get out there. Let's be, you know, you know, there's nothing wrong with that to let our hair down and have fun. Emotions of desire, life force, energy. The powerful Archangel Shamiel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plex, which is located in your third chakra, the center of your life force energy. The issues here re revolve around emotions of desire, your personal energy. When this card appears upright, it indicates an increased enthusiasm in the presence or it would be on its way. It is a great time for you to move forward towards the, compl the completion of your desires. Your life force energy is vibrating with powerful and power and ra and radiance. And your soul is calling for you to direct your energy in a forceful, purposeful manner. The angels of power with you now, so go for it. So this is where I feel like it's just like, you know, maybe this is opening you up to a new relationship. When they were talking about, you know, um, new uh, uh, nuptials are coming up. You know, so someone could, could be talking about marriage. Maybe there's an engagement coming up. You know, maybe someone isn't engaged yet, so maybe that's what they're talking about. Proposal of marriage. I feel like some sort of celebration, some sort of announcement is coming up. So it's just like, you know, they're like be on the lookout for it. So I just feel like it's like supporting our family, being there for them, knowing that, letting them know that they're loved and supported no matter what's going on. So it's just like, you know, doing the best that we can as human beings every single day to make sure that all of us are loved and supported. That doesn't happen all the time. So try to be that positive light in the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards. For Monday, September 5th, 2022. May the universe bless you good. Happy Labor Day weekend. Be safe. Be merry. Happy first day to the kids that are returning back to school on the 4th. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.